Hello, 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 guys. Welcome to Boxing Block Center. And if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and, of course, the subscribe button right now. And also go to the notification bell icon, click it. And hello, Center of Revenue and Banga. A new exclusive video, you will definitely be notified. Dominic Brazil. <clears throat> Dominic Brazil. An everywhere contender. A guy who was, of course, uh, had a shot at the title twice, once against uh, Anthony Joshua way back in 2016, and of course, the other one against uh, Deontay Wilder. We all remember the famous uh, knockout um, um, that Wilder scored towards Brazil. I mean, he got a really great knockout and a one round knockout, though. I, I thought the fight was gonna go away more than that because. I was I was like I was in support of Brazil winning because of due to Waters cockiness and uh, you know pride and all that at, at that time and the tactical stalling of the fight um, the potential you know monster clash between him and Joshua at that time so <clears throat> anyway though the Brazil said uh, he thinks he thinks Ruiz got lucky against Joshua. And he said Ruiz must fight him first before aiming for another title shot. Let's of course take a look at Brazil's statement right here. Let's read it out and of course uh, give our take on it. It's always nice uh, to see guys that have been there for a long time or guys that have been in the game for, for a long time or guys that have been close to the top or for the best fighters available give their take during brazil is no exception let's forget about his loss to water but let's just like look towards him as a fighter and see that what he's saying is actually real and of course the truth so he says i think i quote i think that in the first situation he got lucky brazil told co-host kenneth bohairi and michael rosenthal and when i say lucky you know i don't say that he closed his eyes and threw punches and let us something. He just happened to land the big shirt before Joshua did. And you know, became victorious. <clears throat> I don't think he put in the work that he needed to come, uh, that, that, that he needed to do coming into the second fight. He definitely didn't look the part. I know he stood on his feet for 12 rounds, but Joshua was just playing it safe and was able to overcome Ruiz uh, and get his belts back and pick up a victory in a second fight. I think Andy understands, you know, he kind of dropped the ball in that fight. Now he's working towards his next title shot. I think, you know, uh, I should be one of the individuals he needs to go up against before he gets back in there and fight for another title. I think it would be a fan favorite type of fight. He likes to throw leather with uh, bad intentions. So do I. I'm not a scared fighter. I'm one of those guys that goes in there with guns blazing and I'm looking for the knockout in every punch. So I think it would be something that the fans would love. A fight between an individual like myself and Andy Ruiz more than they would, you know, a part three water fury type of situation for sure. <laughs> I love in Chinese. By the way, Dominic Brazil like <clears throat> spoke the truth here. In as much as some people don't want to accept it, some people to this day think Joshua, you know, got exposed and all that. Joshua was never exposed. You know what I mean? We know proud to proud to the to fight night. Joshua, of course, a week before that, you know, uh, had you know sparred and all that, and of course, go con go concussed. And and also Joshua was not like mentally ready for Andres Jr. Andres Jr. was all nice to Joshua, you know, all grateful, acting like a like a like a little baby that uh, that received his first his or first gift or so. And Andres Jr. was like acting like a kid in a way, like making Joshua feel comfortable that he was gonna win because Joshua. Let's not forget Joshua actually handed over his belts to Andrews Jr. and Joshua had never done that before. That has never happened before, but Joshua did that. 
And a lot of people, when it, when it did that, a lot of people would say, you know, why is he handling over the belts, you know? Uh, is, he that co is he not cocky that he, he thinks he will win all the stuff? But Joshua was just doing it out of, you know, respect, you know, and of course, out of the way Andrews, you know, acted and, you know, behaved towards him and all that. Andrews, you know, we all know he's a chameleon, you know, he changes every time. And after I beat Joshua, he changed completely. So they call it Joshua Robot and all sort of names and all that and saying Joshua has no skill set Joshua cannot move that even if Joshua moves around the ring he's going to get Joshua he's going to pin him down and he's going to knock him out well we also happen the second fight Joshua you know outboxed him took him to to school and gave him a boxing scholarship you know as a boxing fan I mean what's not to lo love about that 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 masterclass from Joshua but also we also have some people there saying that oh George will run he was scared and all that but yet you could say a boxing fan you know the sweet science is about heat and not getting heat and George will perform in a very interesting manner in fact if if for example Fury you know like put out the same V3 you guys will be praising him and all that and but uh, Fury's last fight was impressive though against Wilder, stopping Wilder in a very brutal and fantastic fashion. And of course, regarding the uh, fight between Brazil and uh, Andrews Jr., I think that would be a very, very good fight though. A like, very good fight. Uh, but I think um, Andrews Jr. will win. I mean, I mean win wins the fight but uh, the last time i counted brazil out you know the last time i counted brazil out against izu gunner he came out with a victory although izu gunner was winning that fight but at some point he got out and i don't see andrews you know guys not like that you know but i do see brazil you know controlling andrews jr you know, like you know keeping the job out there moving around a little bit even though he doesn't really have that footwork but he can move and uh, like when Andrews you know come inside like time up and all that maybe just make the fight boring and win but Andrews you know has that masterful left hook that he throws and of course he also throws some illegal punches to the back of the air we all know that already though but anyway guys what do you guys think about this uh statement f coming from Dominic Brazil you know a guy who has of course um gotten to what uh championship uh, shots at the belts you know I me mean? once against joshua and twice against Deont uh, the second one against deontay the bronze bumble water so both of those guys i mean it's a good fight though i watch it or i gladly watch it but i would love to see an original against louis king kong otis i think that would be a more interesting fight ski wise because louis otis is more skillful than Brazil, but in Brazil is a much more bigger guy, and probably he might just pull up the upset. You never know because this game right now, I mean, Andrews Jr. is not special, it's not a special fighter, but in this game, you never know what happens. You know, you never know because anything goes, you know, anything goes. We just saw what uh, Robert Elias did against um, Adam Konaki, you know, so it's what it is, bro, you know, so it's like boxing is like a chess game you know what i mean um whoever has the more tactical or strategical like a uh, uh, skill set or mindset you know wins it is how it is stay tuned guys for more exclusive bangers go follow me on instagram at boxing block center on twitter at boxing block and as well on facebook at boxing center stay blessed guys Cheers.